Where my culture come from and my beautiful black people and where they are today. It depends on how you take it in life. Like, really ain't that bad. That be all like, you can go off into, oh, what well, the emotion, they oppression, they, they this and they that, and they this and they that. Man, my granny told me about stories about sharecropping. I never wanted to be a sharecropper. My grand told me stories about how her mama used to pretty much be a maid for some rich white people. Would I like a white, I mean, would I like a maid cleaning the service or some shit like that? Yeah, that's more of me. But would I want to physically be the butler of the Fresh Prince of bel and Jeffrey and shit? Hell no. <laughs> nah, nigga, but I understand, like, different perspectives of different lives and different words. So I know what I'm going for. I don't know what half y'all people in this straight up fucking oppression and depression going for. Because, bitch, you ain't showing nothing. You see what I'm saying? Y'all niggas ain't standing on nothing. Nobody has to market nothing that's already fucking marketed. So I don't, it's not like I have to do that shit. Y'all niggas talk about standing on business. But you ain't standing on it. Ain't now one of y'all, everything is all about, it's, everything is money driven. And I understand it is in the sex appeal driven and it's politically correct driven. If you could talk good, if you got the look, if you got the swagger, if you got the, the Mick Jagger, like the motherfucking pastor, <laughs> all my attributes that I got that I can naturally go in the world and do this shit, nigga. 90% of y'all ain't got this shit. So honestly, I really don't even give a fuck. Honestly. But at the end of the day, everybody can still grow as a person. And even though I can get better, I can start getting more like, stop being like more cocky and less and more, less cocky and more, should I say sentimental? Just more loving and more caring like, like my other side. I can start being like more of a lover boy. Yeah, like some bad wild little Romeo type shit from 2006. <laughs>